and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new signature series cards that are in the game. Guys, it is Thursday. And if you guys listened to an earlier video, I literally said, like, oh, you will hear it in a later video. I was like, I wonder what content will come out today. I don't know how I completely forgot that signature series come out on Thursdays. Obviously, this video will come out to you guys about as early as it always comes out because I am on time now. I completely was just blanking on the fact that signature series do come out on Thursdays. Um, we got the leaked already, guys. We already know who they are. One guy, we have the stats over on Twitter. The other guy, I have to wait for him to actually come out. So, I'll show you guys the first guy as we get into it. But as you guys, as you guys saw, it was Quentin Dunbar and Cooper Cup is the leak. It should be Cooper Cup. That's what I saw over on Twitter. But I'm going to go into all the stats, go over the cards, let you know if they're worth it. Maybe rant a little bit because you know I like to do that when it comes to limited time cards. But, guys, real quick, if you haven't already, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, boys. Come join the family. Guys, let's get to 12K as quickly as possible. It means the world to me as you guys continue to help grow our community, boys. And comment down below what you think of these signature series. I'm actually super hyped for Cooper Cup. I really am a big Cooper Cup fan. I know I probably say this about a lot of players, but I have been fantasy this year. I'm loving every bit of him. Cooper Cup is a monster. Hopefully, they don't kill his stats. I know how they like to do. They're probably going to underrate Cooper Cup a lot, but hopefully, his stats are awesome. And guys, real quick, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, boys. All you guys who hit the like button. It's what helps the channel grow, so make sure you're always doing that. Now, real quick, what do I think the prices will be? Um, what they should go for is probably about 500k, but they'll probably go for about a million coins. I think Cooper Cup will be the better of the two, as long as they don't kill his speed. If his speed's somewhere near like 89, 90, he'll be a great car, but I have this weird feeling they're going to give him an 87. But in real life, Cooper Cup's sneaky fast. He's not insanely fast, but he's quick. He's agile. He's elusive. He does jukes. I feel like they should give him at least some decent stats. Great catch in traffic. Great rack catch guy. So hopefully they, the stats reflect that. Now we're going to head over to Twitter in a second to go check him out. Now before guys, what would you recommend to open as packs for these cards? That's tough, right? A team of the week bundle, obviously not. Maybe the elite bundle or some gridiron packs or get a goals, but I never really recommend a team of the week bundle. You won't pull them out of most likely. I don't even think you can. You'd have to get them out of one of the gold slots. So elite player packs, would I recommend opening packs for them? Probably not. I don't think this is the week to open packs for them. I feel like they're not as great as they could be. If they were two banger ones like Cooper Cup and something else, maybe, but this week I don't really think Dunbar is that great. But let's go over to Twitter and check out their stats real quick, and let's get over to Cup after that. All right, guys, so the first card on the list is Quinton Dunbar, cornerback for the Washington Redskins. I find it weird that he got one considering how bad the Redskins defense is. I didn't even know who this guy was until I just read it. Obviously, I've heard the name before, but I didn't really know that he was playing this well until just about now. He's got the lock and chain archetype. Again, guys, don't know what that means, but a lot of cornerbacks have it. I imagine it's like one of their one of their normal archetypes. LTD car, Quentin Dunbar, typical signature series Candyland looking logo. He's six foot two, so he's actually really big for a cornerback, which is pretty awesome. Because quite honestly, there's not that many cornerbacks that are that crazy tall with good speed. He does have 90 speed, so that speed and height combo could actually be very very useful. The only issue are his coverage stats, but if you do power him up all the way, as you guys will see, he does have some pretty good potential. He's six foot two, 90 speed, 93 excel. By the way, his salary caps are 41, whatever that means to you guys. 86 agility, 84 jumping, 91 play rec, 89 man coverage, 84 zone coverage, and 90 press. Now, if you guys look at him carefully, I wish his jumping was a little bit higher. Obviously, to offset his height, they gotta give him a bad jump because that's what EA does. If they had given him a higher jumping with that height, he'd probably be an athletic monster. Now, let's see, powered up and chemmed up. His man will be threshold above 90. His press will be well above 90. His play rate will be well above 90. His speed will be like a 91. His excel will be 94. His jump will be like an 85. He's kind of like a budgety Denzel Ward. Like, if you really look at him, he's budgety Denzel Ward. Slower, really good man, not the best zone, good press, good play rec. It's budget Denzel Ward, but a little bit taller. Although, I'd much rather have Denzel Ward because Denzel Ward is like a plus four speed on this guy and uh, a little bit better stats all around with jumping and agility, which Quentin Dunbar does not get. Now, I think this card shouldn't go for any more than 600k but obviously off the rip he's gonna be going for a little over a million coins probably settle around like 800 900k and i don't think he has a power up so you will not be able to power him up to like a 90 just to get him as a 90 uh a kind of underwhelming card i kind of wish that if his zone was like an 88 this card would have been pretty beastly he would have been like Deion sanders-esque obviously on the back of the card not his, not his rack and everything he can do after he intercepts the ball and returns but he would have had some pretty pretty good stats but being a signature series card you won't be seeing this card on teams probably until series four as a redux card as a redux card it'll probably go for no more than 300k i doubt it when he first well initially maybe but card's not that great now i'm pretty excited for cooper cup we're gonna go check out his stats hopefully they're a lot better than this one because i'm super hyped for cooper cup i would want to pick him up in series four or even as a power up although yeah, Cooper Cup does have a power-up, so 
maybe I could power him up to like a 90 overall, which would be really, really cool. I just got to see what his stats look like first. So let's head over to Cooper Cup and go check out his stats. Guys, and Cooper Cup is up on Twitter finally after waiting like 25 minutes because EA can't get anything right. So Cooper Cup, 92 overall wide receiver, limited time card, looks like a route technician or whatever archetype, route specialist. Obviously, it can be powered up, so you can power him up to a 90. But of course, they did exactly what I saw. I feared they do. They gave him an 86 speed. So Cooper Cup is ass. He's six foot two, 86 speed, 74 jumping. That's literally horrific. He's literally a red zone receiver. Like he's a he's a he's a guy who can in the red zone's amazing. Like 86 speed, 74 jumping. That's horrible. That's literally so unathletic. You have to actually throw him wide open. He's not going to get open that often with that speed. And then his catching 91 is great. His catching traffic is not that even good. And that's absurd because he's a great catcher. Spec catch is low, which is also stupid. Short route running 89 is great. Medium route running 90 is great. His 85 deep route running is bad too. But he's also, he catches plenty of deep routes. He goes deep on post all the time. He does a lot of things. Cooper Cup right now in real life is like the jack of all trades. He can do everything really well. He, I've, he literally has like two 40 yard touchdowns, like 70 yard catches. And these aren't like he catches them that far. He catches like at the 20 yard line. He breaks them for 60 yards. They better have given this car like a 90 juke move or something because he is really great after the catch and they're not showing that with his speed. His catching's not that great. I'm kind of upset with how they went over these cards. But guys, I'm going to head over to Madden in just a second, like the actual screen to show you guys. Uh, they, they did announce that there'll be 16 new power-ups, I believe, coming tomorrow. So that's pretty awesome. Maybe Lamar Jackson finally gets one. So we have to see all that. So pretty much, guys, Cooper Cup was kind of a bust. Not too excited about that. But let's head on over to the Madden screen in just a second to go over some power-ups. All right, guys, back in the Madden screen. Uh, the, the signature series are not up yet. I don't know what's going on. There's no Madden Live today. Yeah, he's really just been messing up. Mudhead's not working right now. There's just a whole bunch of issues going on. I don't know why. There's just, there's like no outlet for safety in this game anymore. You think like, I think I usually depend on Mudhead and of course that's not working. But guys, there are a bunch of new power-ups coming out tomorrow, which is actually pretty exciting. Now, there's a few guys that need them. A lot of limited time cards don't even have power-up. So maybe I'm hoping that Lamar Jackson finally gets his power-up. He, he's well-deserved of a power-up. And if you guys want to look real quick, if Lamar Jackson does get one of the new power-ups, that'd be pretty awesome because... Lamar Jackson quite literally could be one of the best quarterbacks or one of the better quarterbacks with a power up. I love using Lamar. Where is he? You power up Lamar. He'll have a 91 speed, 86 throw power, 87 throw short, 83 throw mid, 83 throw deep, 91 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, 87 play action. Now, if you could power him up and you put a bunch of abilities on him, you put sprinter on him, you put so many things, you could probably get his speed up to like a 92. You could almost get his throw power probably powered up to like an 89 with go deep maxed out you're gonna be able to get the short accuracy threshold he's gonna be a much better quarterback he's gonna finally hit some thresholds now i don't know if this quarterback will be that amazing because obviously the times have caught up with him a little bit let's see what his other stats are his ball carry vision will be really high his jukes gonna be really high spins gonna get up there now let's see what his break sack is his break sack is a uh, where is it break sack 94 so he's gonna get some pretty crazy upgraded stat the power-ups definitely gonna help him a lot now i don't know who else could be in line for some power-ups obviously throughout my Madden YouTube career, I've seen a bunch of guys this year who need power-ups, but at this exact moment, can I remember the exact ones who might need them? Not entirely, but guys, this is pretty good news. Pretty excited that there's going to be new power-ups. 16 to be exact, I'm pretty sure. They announced it on one of their streams. Um, You know what that means, right? Tomorrow might be a pretty decent method to go pull those, uh, those silver exchange sets, see if you can pull some of them. I'll obviously make a video on that tomorrow if I do feel as though that is a good method to go over. I'm pretty excited. You know, without power-ups, power-ups are such a big part of Madden. And the way this year works with abilities and sprinter, brawler, uh, shaker, all that stuff. Like, you can't do any of that any of that unless they're powered up. It'll also help your overall. People have been wanting to get Lamar Jackson past his 90 overall for a while. And this will definitely help. If you have John Madden coach, some go deep, some shaker, you, pretty, you can make Lamar Jackson pretty overpowered. And then, obviously, hopefully some guys who haven't gotten them get them because they're in desperate need of him. It really sucks having a guy that, like, I can't put abilities on him. Lamar, Lamar Jackson's a guy that with the right abilities, you could probably counteract a lot of things he can't do, but it sucks to put abilities on him because he's not powered up yet. We do have a refund option now, which definitely makes up for it, but the shaker, all that other stuff, definitely going to be worthwhile. So hopefully they don't mess that up. They give the right guys the power-ups. I hope that the 16 just kind of clears up all the ones who don't have it. I hope they don't leave anyone out because that kind of sucks for all you theme team guys or guys that have people who just can't make the team or you need them for a power-up. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content video. Sorry if it comes out a little later than usual. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that like button. All the fans, all the supporters, always smash the like button. It helps out the channel tremendously. Comment down below what you think. Personally, Quentin Dunbar definitely looks better than Cup, which sucks because I was super excited for Cooper Cup as a name, as a guy that I like in real life. And make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. Hit that noti bell, boys. You always want to be notified when I post brand new videos just like this. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.